Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji. In this video, I'm going to create uh, another facade using Launchbox Grasshopper. Uh, so I'm going to uh, create one new layer. I'm going to name it as facade. Uh, in the previous videos, actually, we created two options already, this one and this one. Uh, in this video, I'm going to actually use a mesh system. So I'm going to go to the facade layer. I'm going to draw a surface first. So I'll go to surface, vertical, uh, starting from that corner to this corner. And it's going to be four meters high, so four space. So this is the surface. Uh, if I want to subdivide this surface, you see Subdivide does not work on surfaces. It only works on mesh. So I want to grab this and I want to turn it into a mesh. Okay. Now it's a mesh. Uh, I can actually delete the surface. I just need the mesh. And now I can use subdivide. I want to subdivide again and again. Right. The good thing about subdivide is that if you hit F10, is going to give you control points, right? Now, I want to grab some of these points, hold shift, next one, next one. Uh, I'm going to get a couple more points here. And I want to work with the surface a little bit. And over there, I want to go to a different view, maybe front view, uh, project is on, and I want to move these points by 30 centimeters, 0 0.3 away, so it's going to actually look like this, right? So it's getting more interesting. Uh, how about I turn off everything else so it's not going to distract us? There we go. If I want to use launch box, I want to go to Grasshopper. If I go to launch box, and let's say I'm interested to use one of these uh, triangle panels, and I need a surface for it, I'll go to surface here. Uh, if I try to set one surface, grab this, it's not going to work because as you remember, this is a mesh, it's not a surface. So first I need to convert it back into a surface. Easiest way to do so is to convert to NERBS services. So I want to go to this icon, right click, and delete uh, input objects. I want to say yes, I don't want the original mesh. Hit enter, we are good now. Right? So now you see that we have a surface here. Uh, if I want to set this surface, it's not going to work again, so I need to do one additional step, which is exploding this surface. So now it's a bunch of surfaces. I can select them all, go here, set multiple surfaces, right? And then I can go back here and let me uh, either delete or hide them. I want to delete them here, but before doing that, we need to internalize the data. So internalize data. I'll go here, delete. Now the data is already here. Uh, that's good. Uh, if I connect this set of surfaces to surface, it's going to start making triangles out of them, but they are very small uh, because each of these 10 divisions is applied to each of these small parts. So I want to go with lower numbers instead of the default value, which is 10 for U and V, maybe 3. That will go to U and V. How about I go with two? This game more interesting. Uh, if I go with one, one is not bad either. So this seems about good. This seems like an interesting facade. Uh, how about we bring one scribble here? I want to name this as triangular panels. And this is try C. You can also try try A and B. I want to bring them and just to compare them, both A, B, and C. Let me hide this for a second. C 
connect this to triangular A and one needs to go to U and V here. Uh, I'll do the same with this one. Connect U and V. So let's compare one by one. This is triangular A. This is triangular B and this one is C. In this case, it's not very different. I like C a little bit better, so I'll go with C. I'm going to delete the other two and we can make a group here. The uh, next thing I want to do is that uh, I would like to create some panel frame. So that goes there. Uh, notice that the outcome of these panels is actually a set of uh, lists inside the list because if you remember we had a bunch of surfaces multiple surfaces assigned uh, to this surface so I want to flatten this before doing anything else we are good here panels go to panel I want to hide this so I can see the panels better and I want to change this scale factor from 0.5 I want to go with 0.8 or something. This is giving me the ratio between panels and frames. So now I have more of panels and less frames. Uh, I want to bring one scribble. I want to name this as panel and frame. Let's group these nodes. Next, uh, I want to actually import them into Rhino. Before doing so, in this facade layer, I want to create two sub layers. I want to name one of them the frame. The other one is going to be panel. Uh, I want to change the panel to light blue and the frames to some other color. And now let's go here. Uh, I would like to first bake the frame. I'm going to right click here, bake the frame as a group, and I want to put it in the facade layer under frame. Frame, group, yes please, OK. Panel, right click, bake on the panel layer, yes please, OK. So this all seems good. You can save and close the grasshopper file. I'm going to close this. So now we just see the outcome here. And uh, I want to leave those uh, panel areas as it is. But for the blue parts, the frames, I actually want to make them a little bit uh, thicker. So I want to go with offset surface. Uh, and this direction, yeah, sounds good. Distance. Uh, maybe about four centimeters or three centimeters and it's going to be a solid. Uh, okay. If I zoom in, now you see that these are actually elements. They are not just uh, flat items anymore. And uh, now I want to turn on the rest of the layer. So layer wall, layer roof, floor, and I want to go to this view. I, I want to change this to rendered. And I need to make some changes here under facade. For the panel, I want to assign like a glass material here. And the rest of it, how about I assign some aluminum? I'll go to middle, aluminum. I want to go with matte, anodized aluminum, blue anodized aluminum. I want to go with this one. Okay, okay. So uh, this is how this facade is going to look like. You can also uh, set a different camera on the outside if you wish so. For that, we need to go here. Uh, I can go to properties and I can go to place. Put one item here. Okay, now if I click here and hit F6, I will be able to see the camera and I want to save this as my exterior. Uh, if I go to the settings here, the properties, I want to change the lens length to 35. So we're going to see more of the building. 
And I want to change both the camera and the target height to a same number, maybe 1.7 here and 1.7 here. Uh, I want to move this a little bit away. So how about I go here and I want to grab these two target points, move them here as well. So you can put some objects and uh, complete your design. I need to go back here, save my changes under exterior. So it's going to replace it. These are the three views that we have. Uh, if I go to my interior camera or exterior, uh, we can compare the three different facades that we designed. One of them is this one. Other one is this one. You can also see it in the other view. And the other option that we designed is this one.